Okay, the first step you want to do is to add the foundation all over your face and neck and blend it in nice and even. You're going to want to apply this extremely thick and it's okay. You want to get this on your lips. Most of the time for foundation you don't want to get, the, get it on your lips but for this makeup you want to put it on your lips. Next you're going to apply the gray eyeshadow to your lid. You could use a q-tip or a spe any special tools you have. I'm using my finger because I find that easiest to use. Next you want to apply the silver eyeshadow to sort of right below your brow line. And next you want to apply the black eyeshadow to your crease. And with a white eyeshadow you just dab near your tear duct. Now with a blush brush I found um, that using it to sort of rub on your eyeshadow helps blend it in better so you look less like a clown. And afterwards you want to use your fingers just to get the rest of it all evened out. I suggest using a smaller blush brush than I did but that was all I had available. Next you want to do your eyeliner. First you're going to do it to your top and since this is cat makeup you're going to want to do the little cat eye little wing at the very edge. I suggest using gel eyeliner. I found this works best and you want to apply this thick as well. Now you're going to apply the eyeliner to your waterline. You want to be careful while doing this because this is the easiest to mess up and it's extremely easy to poke your eye. I've done this several times and honestly yes it hurts but it only stinks for a little bit. Now you're going to take the eyeliner and draw an upside down triangle on the tip of your nose. Now you're going to draw a line from the bottom of that triangle to the top of your lip and you're going to place small dots right above your lip. Now this is a very important part with the concealer. You're going to put it on your bottom lip and you want to blend it in so it looks like you have no bottom lip that blends right into your skin. This might not be completely perfect but you want to try to get it as blended in as possible.
Now for the final step, you're going to apply lipstick to only your top lip. Now you can either use red lipstick, purple lipstick, or black lipstick. In this case, I'm using red. However, I do think purple or black would be more effective. 